Hey YouTube, this is my uh, Bobcat CRZ48. This is the, obviously, hence the name, it's a 48 inch cut Bobcat. Uh, this is their entry level uh, to their, their, I'm not gonna say commercial, but it's on the commercial line of commercials because of the hydros and the deck and the build quality, but this is their entry level uh, lawnmower. You can get this one for, I believe right now you can get it for $4,000, that's what I paid for it. I've had it a couple months, I've mainly used it to mulch leaves seeing as the grass is not quite growing yet. Um, like I said, for $4,000 to me, this was the option that I decided to go with. You got Bobcat, um, other options would be <clears throat> Bad Boy, Hustler, Gravely, and other mowers similar to that in the $4,000, $3,500 to $5,000 price point range. Um, because of the, the quality of this one and the larger front casters, all the grease points, uh, the deck and all that stuff. That's why I went with this, as well as the Kawasaki. The Kawasaki is a freaking great motor. Um, it's the FR series as well, but this one has the heavier um, blades on it, uh, as well as the spindles. It's a three-blade system. Um, the thing I like about the chute here is that you can just raise it and lower it with the push, and you don't have to use a bungee cord to keep it up. You can just slap it down whenever you're done. You know, throwing grass out further. Uh, let's see what else here. It's easy maintenance. Uh, it's got a higher, um, it's got a better built deck lift system. You just got to press the pedal and adjust that to wherever you'd like. You can just drop the pin, drop the pin here, drop the pin there to get the, get it where you want it. Uh, I believe that's seven gauge steel deck. Um, it's very well built. I don't see that going anywhere, having any, having issues with that. Um, this is going to be the parking brake lever whereas on some like for example a hustler you can just lock these in place and it puts the parking brake on this one has a separate lever for that uh, let's see what else it has a believe and i may be i may stand corrected that that's i believe that's a six gallon tank it does have the hydro gears and it has two serviceable hydraulics or hydros um as you can see, the hydraulic fluid is going to be in the reservoirs, and it has separate reservoirs for each hydro. Uh, these are the ZT2800s. Um, easy to access all that stuff when it comes to the belts and changing out the hydro fluids, changing out the pulley if you need to. We'll go over the engine. It is an FR651V. It's rated roughly at 22 horsepower. I think it's like a 725cc motor. But it's pretty easy, easy maintenance. Flip that up to change the air filter. We don't need to get a pre-filter for it. Um, as well as the engine oil you can easily service by dropping this tube down and it'll just drain the fluid you're gonna pop the cap off of it easy fill right there and the oil filter is gonna be further down in there uh, it's got the larger rear wheels as well so it's got a little bit better traction um, this is gonna be my mulch plate but I took it off because I don't think it's that great uh, I don't think I have the baffles in there that I need to mulch properly it does have an hour meter it's going to be the throttle is going to be separate than the choke so you can lift the choke up and adjust this at how you will um, i'm not sure the name of the clutch that they use on these but it is a better it is going to be a better clutch system for the uh to engage the dry or the deck but that's just a, that's about it it's got armrest as well as a pretty freaking comfortable seat but i right this second i'm in love with the mower um i think it's well worth four thousand dollars uh, I intend to put it to pretty good use this year whenever grass starts growing here in Georgia but um, that's pretty well it if you got any questions you know anything to comment just comment below and that's my Bobcat CRZ 48 y'all have a good one